And we're back. Alright, so now we're going to be heading out to the next part of the game. Which is going to be the underground area. Do I need the shotgun? Yes, I do need the shotgun. <laughs> I most definitely need the shotgun. Just turn that down a bit. Okay. Might be a bit loud. So, just... Funny story, like, just before I started here. The game lagged real bad. I don't know why. I left the room and came back in and it was fine. I don't understand why I did that. The world may never know. Alright, anyway, so... Now I need to go take this battery and get that elevator working. Uh, that one place where I killed the dogs... Um, we're going to... There's, now I'm going to show you why I killed them in the first place. So that this next part here wasn't going to be hard to work with. I could say probably about... Probably about, um, two to three more areas. Probably two, if you don't count another revisit to the mansion, which I don't really even count as a revisit because you're there for like five seconds and then you leave. And two, but if you count that, then three. Um, yeah, I need to go this way. This is another one of those puzzles which isn't really a puzzle, more like you just run around in circles for like a few seconds. Ow. Swear to god, don't poison me, please. I guess if I was gonna get poisoned, this would be the best time. There's a blue herb like right at the bottom of the elevator. <laughs> So yeah, now, um, not the dogs are gone, I can just do this. I don't have to worry about them. Put the battery here. And now we can take the elevator. And yes, I did just go in a circle, but for a good reason. Because you that waterfall I just passed by, I have to make it stop. How do you make it stop? You do one thing, and that is, you go over here. And as if you saw, I grabbed the crank out. Well, we're going to make use of the crank again. Go over here. And you crank the water down. Again. And that, well, not the water, you crank the little wall down again. So that we can open up that pathway. Which will lead to the next part of the game. This next part of the game, though, is filled just to the brim with death traps. So I have to be extra careful because any one death trap can just kill me instantly. I mean, they're well, they're placed well enough that you know in advance, but if I'm if I get hit by any of them, then I die. I'm not a big fan of this part of the game either. There's uh, some strong enemies, lots of death traps, one of the most annoying bosses in the game. It's not a fun experience. Oops. I'm done. I will do that until, like, even until the end of the game. I swear. Just fuck, fuck buttons up. Like a first aid surgeon, just in case I need it. 
Now we need to get over to that door, which we need another crank, but we can't use the crank we have because it doesn't fit in the hole, so we have to find another one. And probably run through several hunters to find it. <laughs> you know, fun, fun stuff. I want to run through somewhere if I'm correct. Maybe it's when I come back through here. I don't know. There's this, though. Ooh. Another herb, you know, because I need more. <laughs> I've got enough healing items to last me the rest of the game, pretty much, at this point. Okay, so this is what we need the shaft for. Take it. Okay. I need to find the other part of that so that we can churn that. Is that and we meet the uh, last member of the Bravo team, uh, Enrico. He's the leader Stop. of the Bravo team. Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Enrico. Who? There's the crank handle I need. I wouldn't really say he was holding it, more like it was just resting between his legs, but okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. I don't need to come back in here, so I'll just leave him. Yeah, it's when I come back through these rooms, I have to run to the hunters. Fucking hell. Hunters are the worst. I need a new chair, Bradley. I don't know if you heard the squeaking. It's very loud. Okay. I would have just passed, bypassed that hunter, but I needed that because I'm going to be coming through here again later. Last thing I need is it just mingling around. Found it. So the next thing we gotta do is find the uh, is find the other part for that key so that we can get that elevator working in that other room that we were just in, the big round room. Oh, 
there's one of the death traps. If I get hit by that, I'm dead immediately. That's all the death traps in the boulders. There's like two or three, I think, in the entire underground. Now I can get behind it, though. And it opened a new door for me. This is the door I think it is. It leads to the next boss. I do believe it is. I need something better for this thing, because this thing is a, takes a ton of punishment. I'm going to use that self-defense gun that I've been carrying around. The shotgun's usually reserved for just regular strong enemies, not bosses. grenade launcher with me though. Take the grenade launcher and the self-defense gun. That should do me good. I said it was strong. I never said it was an instant kill. <laughs> and that's why I don't like it, because it can frickin' charge you down. Caution, yeah, I need to get back. Heal. And I'll grab my shotgun again because there's still some enemies around the corner that I need to take care of. Just the shotgun, though. There's some items around the corner. I need some room. somewhere. Where is it? There it is. It's the only time you have to use the knife. The only time you should use the knife unless you're getting the achievement for using the knife. If you didn't guess, the uh, spider can poison you, so that's why they left you two blue herbs. Of course I'll take it. What do I look like? Oh, 
Oh, and here's the part I think we run into another boss, but I don't have to kill him. Kill her. Hit. I have to be ready to run. That boulder over there is going to gonna begin moving as soon as I finish cranking this. I gotta make a quick run to the right in front of me and to the left. As quickly as possible. Nice corridor right there I can dodge it at. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Maybe that was I think that was the last boulder, so I think I'm good now. That's the hardest one to dodge, because if you don't go the right direction, you're dead. End of story. <laughs> what do we got? First aid spray. Let me get rid of this. No, I can't. I don't need it. I already have a knife. I don't really want to use it anyways. <laughs> Maybe we're not at that part yet. Okay, so... What I need to do here is I need to get this, that statue, into that indent right there. See? Oh, okay, I know where I'm supposed to go now. I remember. There. No, wait, whoops. I'll put that back now. Yeah, there we go. Now, this is the tricky part just because don't really understand what way I have to push it on there, but that little panel in the middle of the floor, I've got to push the statue onto it. So that it flips around. Okay, so... If I push it like this... And then push it back on, that should be good. got pushed into the little crevice and that's is done come on there we go Jill was fucking with me a little over to the right the other piece of that uh, thing I was talking about. I'm just gonna toss that away because I really don't need it. Plot twist. Later in the game, I'm so low on health that all I needed was one more green herb and I would have survived. But I didn't have it. <laughs> nah, I don't. I'm not gonna need that many healing items. Okay. Alright. So now we're almost done with the underground.
don't believe I need the crank anymore though, so I can probably just get, just box this for now. Put these away. And grab out my ammo, and I should be good to go. Alright, cool. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on our way. Shut the dagger, I keep forgetting to do that. Actually, well, might as well do that while I'm in here. Here we go. Okay, so first, just for you guys, I'm gonna turn this. Normally, I wouldn't need to, but I'll just do it for you guys. Okay, so see this number pattern here? We've got Roman numerals. Four, two, three, and one. Now what we gotta do with that is put it in here. Need to press the buttons in the order. Two, three, one. Then we get the elevator. And it's apparently some ammo I left laying there. <laughs> I'll go grab that. Before I get the elevator, get down the elevator. I don't want to step on there because I think it starts a storyline and I leave immediately. Okay, there we go. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. The sad thing is, is that this voice acting isn't too spectacular, but it's a thousand times better than the original. Just, just look up the original game's cutscenes, that's all you gotta do. And you will see how like grade A that, that voice acting that was. Sound. It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. I didn't realize there was a box down here. I thought that I was basically up Tree Creek until I got to the next box. I forgot a handgun magazine again. <laughs> How many handgun magazines am I going to forget? Best idea is to walk underneath a trash compactor. You know, that's what everyone does. Put the box is down there already. Apparently, I need to find it. I'm put those away and just be on my way. That Barry, though, man, ain't he just a swell guy? Just, you know, making sure that we're gonna both be alright. I'm not saying that in any sarcastic way. I truly mean it. There's Lisa Trevor. I don't think I ever explained who Lisa Trevor is. Um, that girl right there is a, a BOW experiment that the main villain, who... 
most of you probably know. I'm not gonna say just because it's major spoilers. Well, um, she's a BOW experiment, a little girl who was injected with the virus to see what would happen. So basically, she gained immortality, but it's a tragic story about how you know, she was with her mom and her dad. Well, specifically her mom and how she became frightened and scared and inevitably went crazy because of the virus and all that. It's tragic. It would be explained better if I probably went to the uh, actual notes, but... Like I said, I'm for sorry, I'm not reading the notes for this playthrough. It takes up a lot of time and unfortunately I don't really want to do that. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, most people don't know about this up here, but there's some bunch of items. Most important thing is though is that there's magnum rounds. Something you always need. Something I'll be making use of end game, not right now though. Oh, you guys want to see that magnum in action, but it's just going to have to wait a bit longer. The puzzle on this next part, though, is fucking stupid. What I have to do is um, I have to take this box. That trash compactor I was talking about earlier that I was like, isn't it smart that I just stood underneath it? Well, I need to go there to... um everything. I need to go there to crush this box, which will have a um, broken flamethrower in it. And what I use is that broken flamethrower for is that one switch that opened up. If you recall, when I hit pulled the lever and that switch, those little bands opened up on the device, well, what I have to do is I have to put the broken flamethrower on there and set to a time limit. So what I have to do is lead Lisa Trevor around so that I can make a beeline for it, drop the flamethrower, go through the door, and I'm done. That's all I gotta do. The problem is, she's a lumbering slow enemy, so I have to work with her speed, which is obnoxious. I have to wait for her to come around, then I have to pull the lever, then I have to run, but I have to wait for her to walk around. Key word. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is obnoxious. Barry! Look at Barry leave me behind. The spill guy. I don't think there's any typewriters around here, so I'm gonna have to just move myself forward until then. Until I find another one, and then I'll end the part, but I only got about two minutes. Whatever. It's my video, so it can be my length. <laughs> I just do half an hour. I would normally do 20 minutes, but since I'm limited on saves in this game, I'm gonna do half an hour for these parts. I think 20 minutes is a nice square number. <clears throat> I'm kinda curious as to why I needed to do that when I could probably just frickin' break the box open. So you do want to put some stuff away. And if you guys were curious, there's really no coherency to where I'm putting these items. I'm just gonna throw them into the box. <laughs> there's really no specific reason why I keep going down when I put healing items there, other than that I just happen to be doing so. <laughs> This 
is one of the stupidest parts of the game. See, now I gotta run as quickly as I can over there, because if I don't, I won't make it in time and it'll close. There we go. That's it to the puzzle, if you even want to call it that, I suppose. Put that there. Now this door's unlocked. If Joe will stop doing 180 churns, I can go through the door. <laughs> Okay. There's some snakes. Snakes. More snakes. Okay. That's not going to be the last time we're going to see Lisa Trevor either. We're going to see her one more time for an actual boss battle and then we're done with that. So remember that one thing I said? A long time ago? Yeah, I forgot something in there. See, look at that one panel I was talking about a long time ago where I got the crank from, the first one. We do come back to the cabin. This is where it leads. Assumingly, this is all Lisa Driver stuff, so... I need to find something. There's something in here I need. Besides a dagger. Although I will take the dagger. Let's see, do I see anything glowing? Something around here, I know there is. I'm supposed to get a second part to that uh, one thing. That one piece I got from that special room with the key. With the uh, key brooch. It's supposed to be another piece in here. Can't seem to locate it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Found it. And this is the easiest box to solve. Press a button. <laughs> Yay. Okay. That's a photo of Lisa Trevor, her mom and her dad. Lisa Trevor was the small girl. So that's right, I have to climb. So I I wasn't going through. <laughs> okay, so now we just take this. Combine these. Open that back up. We'll put this away. Gonna grab a mixed herb to put that together. There's one. Alright, and I'm going to grab my grins out, and I'm going to call this apart, because there's a typewriter right in the next room. There they are. So i got 23 more saves. Tragic. Much tragedy. Apparently I left something in this room. Whatever.
All right. <clears throat> That's it for this part. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, you know, give me a like. If you don't like them and you give a dislike, you know, just let me know what I may have done wrong if you, you know, so I can improve on that. If you want to see more videos, give me, you know, give the, yourself a subscribe. I'm going to be releasing more. There's a bunch of videos laid out already ready to go up. If you got something to say, you know, leave me a comment. And I will see you next time in the next video. See you later.